Welcome to Phoenix Manufacturing's instructional video. To achieve maximum airflow of your residential evaporative cooler, your motor shiv needs to be adjusted to the motor nameplate amps. An improperly set shiv can result in reduced airflow or the motor will operate over nameplate amps which can cause motor failure. The shiv has an adjustable half that can be adjusted to zero turns closed which is the largest diameter to five turns open which is the smallest diameter. The shiv on PMI motor kits are factory adjusted to four turns open. This setting is fine for straight discharge into a space if a clamp ammeter is not available for adjusting the shiv. At zero static pressure, which is a straight ductwork into the space, four turns open will be near nameplate amps of the motor. When the ductwork has static pressure, example multi-duct openings that have registers, the motor will drop below nameplate amps and will need to be adjusted. The first step in adjusting your shiv is to identify the motor nameplate amps as shown. When checking nameplate amps, the unit must be under normal operating conditions. Example, all panels must be in place and proper relief air. Example, open windows or doors. To read the motor amps, you must use a ammeter. The most common ammeter is a clamp type. Place the ammeter around the black supply wire to the junction box or around the high speed black wire at the back of the motor after removing the motor terminal cover. Record your initial amp reading. As you can see, the recorded amps are 5.64, that is below the motor nameplate amps of 7.0. Since the amp reading is lower than nameplate amps, the shiv needs to be adjusted inward clockwise to raise the amps and increase your airflow. If the amps are higher than 7.0, the shiv will need to be adjusted outward counterclockwise that will reduce your amps. To raise the motor amps, start by removing the belt and loosen the shiv adjustment set screw. Adjusting the shift inward one revolution at a time and rechecking your amps until you achieve nameplate amps. The belt tension should be adjusted each time the shift is adjusted and always loosen the motor cradle bolts when adjusting the belt. Install the belt and pull the motor cradle back to reset the belt tension while grabbing the belt about 8 inches down from the shiv with your thumb and index finger to achieve a half inch deflection on both sides of the belt and retighten the motor cradle bolts. Recheck your amps to verify that you've achieved nameplate amps. Be sure you have proper alignment on the shiv and motor pulley. If it needs adjusting, loosen the set screw that secures the shiv to the motor shaft. Slide the shift inward or outward on the motor shaft and retighten set screw.